Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Uh, thank you for stopping by on my channel checking out this video. So uh, as you can see here, I got a brand new acoustic. Well, it's not brand new, but it's uh, brand new to me. It's a 1970 Hoffner uh, Country and Western model, I believe it's called. It doesn't say on the inside, but uh, from what I could find, that's what uh, it's been listed online. This is handmade in Germany. Uh, just absolutely beautiful uh, as you can see on the back and sides if I can catch it on camera It's got an amazing. Oh, there we go It's got a gorgeous back. I'm not sure what the wood is if any of you guys know would love to find out But it's just absolutely beautiful uh, Quickly how I got this guitar actually. Um, I was in Alliston, Ontario uh, there's a pawn shop there and I walked in and uh, just looking at vinyl, so I love collecting old country vinyls and, uh, you know, Johnny Cash, trying to find those uh, gold gems that no one wants. Uh, I was particularly looking for a George Jones record, I'm a really big fan of his, and uh, I saw this hanging on the wall and I was like, oh, what's that? I love the, the pick art, it was kind of like a early 50s Johnny Cash style type thing. He had something similar on his Martin, and uh, kind of caught my eye, and uh, I looked at it, and I pulled it down, and... I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow, it's a gorgeous guitar. I love, I love the aged uh, top. Uh, it's got a lot of nice patina, which I'll do close-ups, obviously. Probably showing that right now. Um, I couldn't believe the bridge. The bridge was really interesting. It's almost like a. Uh, I have it on my Bigsby. I forgot the name of it right now, but it's a. Uh, it's a device that like the exactly like this, and it makes the changing on a Bigsby uh, way easier. And it's got individual saddle for intonation changes. Uh, just really beautiful. It's a really light guitar, uh, which I, I prefer on acoustics. I don't really like heavy acoustics. Uh, the playability on this is really nice. It's got rolled edges. Um, and again, it's from the 70s. So all this cool uh, technology that this guitar has for the time was really preceding what anything was made at that time, really. Um, it's even got... Um, if you see that hole right there, that's for adjusting the neck, I believe this way, up uh, the neck tilt. So it's, yeah, really great guitar. When I got it though, it was really dirty, I mean, it was in a pawn shop, right, so cleaned all the dust off, um, I mean, it wasn't, the. this pawn shop was a really good pawn shop, but, uh, you know, uh, I, there's a bit of a bridge lifting too, so uh, I put a, a damp cloth inside, a warmed up damp cloth, uh, just to give uh, humidity, and I, I closed the sound hole, so that way it would uh, kind of lift the top, which it did work, um, so yeah, I got that from an acoustic form. But uh, yeah, so hope you enjoy the sound of this guitar. That was a quick little story and a little bit of me rambling on as I normally do. But uh, yeah, hope you all enjoy.
If you made it this far, thank you so much uh, for checking out my video and my channel. If you like what I'm doing, uh, please subscribe and uh, you'll get notifications when I release some videos. I'm releasing a single this month. Uh, it's called A Mother's Song. Uh, it's a, my first, one of my first gospel songs, so I'm really excited to release that. And uh, I'm going to be recording with this acoustic as my main uh, studio guitar. I will play it live too with an SM57. I was going to put an LR bags into her, but um, I just want to keep the acoustic original. I don't really want to be playing around too much. Uh, I just like acoustics with nothing in them. Just, you know, straight up Dreadnought or Jumbo. Good to go. <laughs> Anyways, have a great day and uh, yeah, if you like this guitar, leave a comment. I want to hear your opinion. Cheers.